We're here on the Lockerley Estate in Hampshire and we've been trialling here through the autumn and now into the spring. To prove the power of per plant farming, we are focusing on answering the biggest problem that farmers face at the moment, which is weeding. So we're working with uh, farmers in the UK to be able to provide them with an ongoing view of their crop plants and their broadleaf weeds in the field. One of the newest tools in the toolbox for us at, at Lockerley is the relationship with the small robot company. The robot offers us a real chance to stop using artificial inputs, which goes towards our regenerative model of farming. There's a synergy between farmer and scientist. With the new generation of robotics, we're really focusing on every individual plant in a field rather than taking a blanket view that we're going to spray an entire field with a pesticide. We have delivered this end-to-end -end service. That is taking our Tom, who is now developed up to a commercial specification, to be able to gather the data. Tom then passing that data to Wilma, our AI-driven operating system, who is now capable of absorbing terabytes of information and converting that to per plant information in the field. And then that information being passed to Dick, who then goes out to the field to find the individual weeds that Tom has seen through his cameras and then killing those with electricity. This is our Tom V3 robot. He's now covering 2.5 hectares an hour, so 20 hectares in, a, in an eight hour shift. Tom will go out in the field, do a survey, um, and we'll be able to take a, a really detailed picture of literally every millimetre of the field that they're looking at. So for instance, this field is 11 hectares, 25 acres. This field will turn into a million little fields within a field, and that, that accuracy of data is really important. It's really exciting to be in a situation where we now have a commercially viable product in Tom. These capabilities are also really applicable to lots of other players in the wider ag industry. And what we can offer them is quite literally billions of data points and the opportunity for every field to become a trial plot. So we've moved to the point now where we can take the data from Tom, absorb it into Wilma, process it through the AIs and create this per plant map in the field. This year we are focused on improving the granularity uh, and detail of the data that we're feeding into Wilma to be able to monitor every single plant in the field as it grows over the course of the season. So this is using the Wilma AI to say this particular weed is a, is a very severe threat to the target crop and then to go in and choose which plants we treat and choose exactly how we treat them. We can recognise the type of weed if we don't want to kill that particular weed and the farmer can make the decision about that. We're not looking to eliminate everything from every crop. Let's identify weeds that could actually bring benefits. The robots can do that but I can't be selective with a herbicide that goes through a chemical sprayer. In phase three, we're using our non-chemical weeding robot, Dick, to go out and kill those weeds. Electrical weed zapping, which has been produced by Rootwave, puts an electric current through a weed from the tip all the way through to the root. It's very similar to a lightning strike. The biggest challenge that farmers are facing at the moment is around herbicide resistance and, and, and weed control. We went to farmers and said, right, well, you tell us what is the most important thing for us to solve. Unanimously, it came back herbicide resistance. Weeds just can't control them. We have got resistant weed issues in big parts of the UK with, with grass weeds in particular. Black grass is, is crippling. It's costing the industry a fortune. The cost of pesticides have gone up 50% in 10 years. It's the number one problem which is here now when it needs to be fixed. We can't continue to go at this pace so we need to change and that's where the robots offer us a different solution. Now we can recognise the weeds in the shot and we can get the probe onto those weeds. At that point we can do what we want the robotic platforms we've got at the moment can have many, many different technologies bolted onto them and the world's our oyster on that. It could be really powerful and industry changing. We've been here today on a field trial and we've had technology and we've shown, we've shown that it works, but we need to get to the point where we can drop it in any field, on any day, anywhere in the country and internationally as well. Our next stage is being able to take the proof of concept of our electric weeding system and convert that into a commercially viable, robust service. Product design is really important for us. We don't want to continue to reinvent the wheel every time. We want to take 
chunks that we know work and reapply them onto as many platforms as we can. The real benefit around that is that it allows us to be able to create this modular platform for our robotics, to have reusable components. So in 2023, when our machinery is ready, we are going to be able to ramp up massively. The industry is changing beyond recognition, and I think um, whether you adapt or you just watch, we should have an ear towards robots in agriculture. The robots can offer a heck of a lot more, in my opinion, than just, just treating weeds. In my lifetime, robots will be uh, a huge part of our farming system. I mean, it's endless. The potential is endless.